from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live on KTK. Joining us now is Terrence Eights with NetHealth. And today we're going to be talking about the importance of Breast Cancer Awareness Month and early screenings. Good morning, Terrence. Good morning. How are we? I am well. Good to see you here. Now, I, I, I know that it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Let's talk a little bit about the risk factors women can face. So, one risk factor, I feel it's very important, me as a guy talking about women's health issues, this being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the risk factors, there are some that a woman can control, and there are risk factors that a woman cannot control. So, the main one that a woman cannot control is family history. So, if a woman has if their mother, sister, a first degree female relative, if they had breast cancer, then the risk is that they will eventually develop breast cancer. So awareness and education is the best way to protect yourself from knowing what your risk is. And then also the early detection aspect. If you're able to get screened, if you do happen to have breast cancer, it's a lot easier for it to be treated at an early stage. Mm -hmm. So there's stage one through five, just like a tornado, F1 through F5. So if you can get it at the F1, F2 stage, your quality of life will be a lot better if you're able to detect it early. Yes, the earlier the better. Mm -hmm. So what is the prevalence of breast cancer among women here in East Texas? So on average, it's one out of three women, regardless of your ethnicity of your race, that are gonna develop breast cancer at some point in their life. Um, our staff at our Center for Healthy Living, we actually have a program, that's the Breast and Cervical Cancer Screening Program, where we assist uninsured women in East Texas to receive free mammograms. So, doesn't matter where you live, if you're listening to my voice, if you see this interview on the KTK website or on the app, uh, contact us. Our phone number is 903-593-7474. And we're, our staff will help a woman to do the registration, the application process in order to get a mammogram. All right. And how does NetHealth provide assistance to those uninsured um, when it comes to women in East Texas receiving those free mammograms? How does that all work out for them? So our main task is to reduce the barriers to increase access for women to be able to get a mammogram. So uh, we actually have some of the mammography buses, say that five times <laughs> fast, that have physically come to our parking lot, the Center for Healthy Living, so a woman can physically come to us there are different community events, health fairs that happen in the area where those mobile mammography vans will be positioned also. Uh, and then there's also the aspect, uh, there's no reason why a woman cannot get a mammogram. So if a woman has insurance, then that's great. But for women that may be uninsured or they have insurance, but their insurance doesn't fully cover the cost of having a mammogram or the follow-up procedures for a mammogram, that's where our staff is coming in to help. All right. And just for those who are tuning in now, how, what is the best way for them to contact NetHealth? So you can go to our website, mynethealth.org. Uh, you can find us on every social media platform there is. You can physically come to our Center for Healthy Living. It's the old fire station building that's located on 155 South, just inside the loop in Tyler. But then if you live outside of Tyler, we are able and we are ready to assist you to get your mammogram. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. 